Which I think then takes us into the next subject about delays is cities, right? Yes. So usually you want a little bit of time to do your due diligence, walk through the whole city process. Right now we're seeing major delays in the cities uh, coming from COVID and I guess, I don't know, maybe some of them got laid off. Well, there was a moratorium in Caldwell. Yeah. Caldwell, Idaho. Yeah, they they screwed up. Uh, well, the city screwed up on taxes and they just weren't collecting enough revenue. They froze everything. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, well, no, I actually think it was the state said that you can't raise property taxes more than a, than a certain percentage. And it, it kind of froze a bunch of the cities in their tracks because with all the new construction they had approved, they're like, there's no way we can support this if they're capping how much that we can raise property taxes. Caldwell, Idaho being one of them that said, well, f- no moss. We're not going to approve any new developments until we get our arms around this. Yeah. yeah. And we could probably speak to Syracuse a little bit. A project that got not denied, but it didn't go through. We're super bummed about it. It wasn't backed up from the city, but I guess the delay that we saw there is they weren't willing to approve it because they were going through a, a change or city council change, right? They're, they're having voting for that year. Yeah, for there was an election. election. And, and That's no, what I was looking for. So election yeah. year. And so they weren't really, well, they were. They were delaying approving the project. Yeah, a city councilor doesn't want to approve a, a semi-controversial multifamily project right before an election. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that right after the election. And they were also looking at what was going in around us saying, hey, we're thinking maybe this is a hospital going in. Do we really want this to be multifamily? So we kind of got So we saw a very, a very u- unique delay within that city to where we couldn't move forward. It was very risky to move forward without getting that preliminary plat approval. Well, and then it's important to note that not only are you going to get delays on whether you can move forward or not, but once you've been given the green light, you've got your approvals, these hoops that you have to jump through, it just takes longer, right? Um, Part of that is the fact that the city of Phoenix has been driving me crazy lately. Um, we're, We're waiting on a number of approvals, and I'm talking not just the metro, the city of Phoenix. It's taking a long time to get anything done. These guys were understaffed as as is, and then COVID hit, and there's this massive demand for new construction. Ask me if they've hired anybody new. In fact, it's really no. hard. It's hard to hire anybody for anything right now, let alone hey, come work for the government, right? But they're working remote too, and so that's even more difficult. That's another problem. Yeah. So not only are they understaffed. That city is still hiding from COVID, right? Remember when COVID first hit, I was filling up for gas one day and I thought, am I going to get COVID at the gas pump, right? The guy that pushed 85 octane ahead of me, Mm -hmm. did he have COVID, right? (laughs) And so some people are still living that way. If you are, then that's your prerogative. But that's, it's slowing down development massively and by by not allowing people to be in the office. City workers who have to work with with clients and other different departments and engineers, it's just going to be slower, when you're we're working remotely like that. Yeah, when you're only communicating via Zoom or phone calls or emails, it's, I mean, you understand how being face-to-face is so valuable, right? Yeah. You can get so much more done in that time. I know we have a project that we're waiting on a uh, final plot approval on. We were told originally we would have that in July, and now it looks like it's going to be pushed back to, you know, end of November. Yep. Yeah, but they just keep pushing back, pushing back. Delay, it delay, takes more, delay. Yeah. And the last thing I'll say about city delays is, people want to build right now. So you have a lot of builders that are submitting these yeah. these plans or these plats and they're wanting to get those approved. So just get in line, I guess. Less city staff. The staff that there is is not as efficient and there's as much demand as more there demand. has ever been for mm-hmm. their service. Yeah. yeah, they're backlogged. You got to scale up. 